What's up, Mal Pals, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so you'll be the first to get these videos when they drop. Now, in today's video, we're going to talk about the Belgian Malinois versus the Pitbull Terrier. Now, hold on. Before we start, let's get right into it. I know you guys are going to kill me in the comments saying that's not a real Pitbull Terrier on the thumbnail. It's American Bully, whatever. Let's start out by saying that in America, I don't know how this happens around the world, but in America, when you register an American Bully, at the American Kennel Club, you have to register them as an American Pit Bull Terrier. You cannot register them as a American Bully because American Bully is not recognized in the registry. Let me start out by saying that. Now the Pit Bull, why would someone choose a Pit Bull? Pit Bull was derived from a Bulldog and other Terrier dogs in order to get the strength of a Bulldog and the instinctiveness and agility from a Terrier. And he came up with the Pit Bull, which you can see in this video. They're very athletic and very strong and powerful, but they were used for the wrong reason. Bull baiting, bear baiting, and as we all know, dog fighting, which are three blood sports that are purely illegal today, but they still go on around the world. It's sad to say, but it still goes on and it's happening today. The pit bull is great for weight pulling, personal protection work, being a catch dog. For instance, when people are hog hunting or boar hunting, they use the pit bull to go in and catch the, the boar. And that's one That's one sport that I would like to try one day. It's not about being a sport, but you can use these dogs as personal companions, family companions. They're gonna protect you with their life. They're great with kids. It's just that they get a bad rap because of their history, which is not okay. Don't, you know, don't blame the breed blame the owner because it's the owner raising the dog it's the owner teaching the dog to do these things you know we already know the pit bulls has instincts you know to dog fight but if you bring it out of the dog then he's gonna do that if you socialize the dog and you know treat the dog with love and you know love the dog every day then he's gonna love you back he's not gonna hurt other dogs he's not gonna you know he's gonna be a loving dog which there's many loving pit bulls out there people get these dogs based on their look you know their smarts whatever the case may be as long as you treat the dog well and train the dog well he's gonna do what you need him to do but you wouldn't choose a pit bull to do police work protect the country you know ring sport uh schutzen work or oh, now it's ipo you know you wouldn't choose a pit bull to do these things that's the reason you would choose a belgian malinois the belgian malinois is known for its smarts its intelligence how easy it is to train sometimes they can be stubborn and it's like they don't have an off switch they always want to play they always want to go they're high energy dog which is great for the person with that type of lifestyle if you're willing to do that with the dog that's why, you know, throughout our community, Belgian Malinois community, we tell people the Belgian Malinois is not for everybody, which is true. You might like what you see in these videos that Malinois jumping, doing all these amazing things, the ability to train, but these are highlights of the dog. You're not seeing the full day and the full time and effort it takes to go into training and living with these dogs. It's not easy. You have to be firm. First time dog owners, I would not suggest to get a Belgian Malinois. If this is your first time owning a dog, do not get a Belgian Malinois. Do your research on the Belgian Malinois before you pick up that phone and, you know, call a breeder and schedule an appointment. Do your research to make sure this is really what you want. A Belgian Malinois is not just a dog, it's a lifestyle. To have a Belgian Malinois, you're going to change your lifestyle, you're going to change your life, you know, and it's probably going to change for the better. If you can handle it, you know, you'll be more active. The pit bulls, you know, it's not a high energy dog. When they go, they go, but you know, they, you know, they can be docile and calm also which the belgian malinois can be too but you know you need to exert the energy before the dog calms down <laughs> so guys let me know down in the comments which dog you would choose they're both great dogs they're both smart dogs they're both athletic dogs but you know if like i said before if i was going to catch dog or weight pulling i'm not going to use a belgian malinois for that if i was going to do tactical training military work police work detection training i'm not going to use a pit bull for that so it's based off of your preference what you want the dog for what you want to do with the dog that's going to be the choosing factor on which dog that you choose so guys that's the video stay tuned we're going to be dropping more videos let me know down in the comments which dog you choose where you're from and which type of videos you would like to see in the future until next time guys thanks for watching we'll see you next time guys Crossfire. It's caught in the crossfire.